Amelia Mignonette Thermopolis Rinaldi, Queen of Genovia. If, like us, The Princess Diaries 1 and 2 played a significant role in your childhood, buckle up, grab your crowns, and begin packing for a trip to Genovia. It appears that we'll be seeing more of your favorite princess of Genovia. Here's what we know so far about Princess Diaries 3. To be a princess… You have to believe that you're a princess. We didn't exaggerate when we said that The Princess Diaries 1 and 2 were the movies of our youth. Meg's novel series were adapted in 2001 and 2004, starring Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews, and they have been long considered classics. For today's millennials, they represent the pinnacle of nostalgic solace. A sequel was once discussed for a long time, but much to our disappointment, it was never produced. The wait's finally over as it has been said that Disney is in the early stages of developing a third film. The Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement was released in August 2004, which seemed like a long time ago now. The past 19 years have flown by, but the real-life fairy tale series followers haven't given up on the idea of a third film, and 2023 seems like the best possible time to spread some good news to the world. Tractions on a trilogy-making sequel has stalled in recent years, and there have been few updates since Anne Hathaway, who played the princess Mia, was plucked from obscurity, confirmed that a script exists. Julie Andrews, who played the queen, also claimed to be on board for the movie, until Disney gave a new film the official go-ahead. As The Princess Diaries taught us, miracles happen once in a while if you believe. Hey Mia, would you rather hit a beach ball? Order me a pizza, huh? Pepperoni. <laughs> According to the most recent The Princess Diaries 3 news, the tale of Mia and her rule over Genovia will now be continued on the big screen nearly 20 years later. The first movie focused on Mia as a clueless teenager discovering for the first time that she is actually a princess, and the second movie was all about Mia becoming a queen. The third movie, however, is likely to take place much later in Mia's reign and may even be a legacy sequel. Even though The Princess Diaries 3 is still very early in development stages, some information has surfaced. But before we go any further, don't forget to smash that like button. Fortunately, The Princess Diaries 3 news indicates that Disney is actively working on the movie. The Princess Diaries 3 has been in production since November 2002, according to a Disney announcement, and news about it has been dribbling out ever since. The third Princess Diaries movie will also be produced by the original Princess Diaries producer Deborah, and also also, the screenwriter will be back to write the screenplay. Melissa is also the executive producer of The Princess Diaries 3. Gary Marshall, who helmed from the first two movies, tragically passed away in 2016, as plans for a third movie were just getting underway. In addition, no director has yet agreed to join The Princess Diaries 3 production. The potential third episode would serve as a tribute to Marshall, according to Julie Andrews' remarks from 2017. She said, I I think we might do it in honor of Marshall. Annie had an idea that she wanted to pursue about it, and I'm all for it, so if she'd like to… The Princess Diaries 3 is currently being written. As far as we know, sadly, we just don't know the exact date of release. Even though we've been waiting for this movie for 19 years, what's a couple more? Lord, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> A confirmed cast hasn't been announced yet because the movie is still in early stages. Although it's difficult to determine which characters are crucial to the storyline in their absence of a clear-cut plot to go off of, we would love to see some of the original actors return to their roles. There is no current agreement for Anne Hathaway to make a comeback. The actress has, however, publicly expressed her desire to return to her role as Princess Mia and her support for a third outing. The reoccurrence of Julie Andrews as the queen is the other celebrity about which viewers are curious. Andrews stated that while returning for a sequel is a lovely thought, it's a bit too far down the line now to go back to it. Although Julie Andrews' absence from the cast of The Princess Diaries 3 is disappointing, the actress is 87 years old and has earned a well-deserved break after her illustrious career. Chris Pine is open to a third film. When questioned about playing the dashing Nicholas again, in 
2016, the actor seemed excited. There are still unanswered questions regarding the status of Nicholas Amiu's relationship after he legitimately swept her off her feet at the conclusion of the 2004 sequel. During a fan Q&A in 2016, Pine was asked, Don't you pray every night for Princess Diaries 3? To which he replied, Have you been reading my diary? The actress who portrayed Princess Mia's closest friend, Lily, Heather, declared in July 2016 that she would unquestionably return for a further sequel. If Annie and Julie are down, of course, she explained. Additionally interested in returning is Mandy Moore as Lana for a cameo, and actor Hector, who plays Joe, the Queen's bodyguard turned husband and Mia's confidant in the franchise. Most recently, Grey's Anatomy star Sandra Oh addressed the possibility of returning to the Princess Diaries franchise in the Princess Diaries 3 news. Sandra played the vice principal in the Princess Diaries, and even though she was absent from the follow-up, she still made it clear that she's eager to return for the third installment in the trilogy. We'll get to the bottom of this. Here's your tea, Your Majesty. I'm sorry we don't have finer china, but then you're perfectly all right. Mag, the author of the Princess Diaries book series, claimed that a script exists in 2017 before Hathaway confirmed that there was one. Additionally, she stated that the film was produced, it would still be a kind of tribute to the late Gary Marshall, who passed away in 2016. She didn't provide any additional information other than to say that the movies would probably diverge from the book series. She noted, I think of them as two different universes. Speaking of Marshall, the director was also enthusiastic about making a third Princess Mia film. In March 2016, he said, I was with Anne Hathaway a couple of weeks ago and it looked like we wanted to do The Princess Diaries 3 in Manhattan. Sadly, his plan was never carried out, but to honor his suggestion, the sequel might still take place in New York. According to what we currently know about the third chapter, it'll be a continuation rather than a reboot. And since we saw Mia send to her throne, the new movie will probably focus on her reign as the queen. There's numerous possible outcomes that the film truly continues her story. Following a protracted relationship, Mia marries Michael, the brother of her best friend, in the movie sequel, which deviates significantly from the book's plot. The actor who played Michael in the first film, Robert Schwartzman, didn't return for the sequel, which starred Chris Pine as the Lord Nicholas. Mia's love interest and possible heir to the Genovian throne. As a result, it's difficult to pinpoint a specific plot from the book series that The Princess Diaries 3 could cover in depth. Sadly, no. I wanted to tell you that I was very impressed by what you did at the parade. Thank you. The Princess Diaries Volume 11 Royal Wedding, the latest book in the series, reveals that Mia is expecting twins. The Princess Diaries 3 will likely focus on her subsequent family life because it's been 20 years since The Princess Diaries 2. Giving her twins and exploring her responsibilities as a royal and a mother could be plot points taken from the book. This would pave the way for a legacy sequel, which would follow her children as they battle to become legitimate royals, much like their mother did. Mia's right to remain childless could also be considered in the third chapter. For The Princess Diaries 3, there is an intriguing and detailed fan theory that claims Mia's relationship with the Lord or any other potential parenting will not be the main focus of the movie. Mia has a biracial sister who moves there to live with the royal family, and that's the entire point of the story. Furthermore, she would no longer be the only heir to the throne thanks to the unexpected sister. This half-sister, Olivia Grace, would also also appear in Meg's spin-off book series from the notebooks of a middle school princess, so maybe this is not just a theory. I saw that. Um, uh <laughs> oh, 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 I missed you! Another intriguing theory suggests that The Princess Diaries 3 could return Mia to their 20-year high school reunion, which features Mandy Moore and Sandra Oh. And although Mandy Moore said she didn't think Lana the Bully made much sense in the third story, she did indicate interest in a cameo. She stated, Maybe she could make amends with Mia and apologize for being a bully when she was younger. She was insecure and going through a difficult time in her life, and she has now reflected on why that wasn't okay. So, maybe Mia will show up for the reunion. Also, Eric could reprise his role as Josh Brandt, too. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Tell me, Mia, is it true about your speech? Are you really speaking at the bulimic convention? So you can speak and barf at the same time? <laughs>